Hello friends and not yet friends, welcome back to Mary's Test Kitchen, where I was gonna make my favorite yogurt at your request, but instead got distracted by a cat and missed a step, so had to improvise and what a happy accident. This tangy cultured coconut fluff is the best thing on bread and tastes like a cross between whipped cream and cultured butter. And this is how you can make it too. First, get your Instant Pot or something similar with a yogurt setting. You just need something that will hold a warm temperature about 100 degrees safely for 24 hours. And sterilize the inner pot with boiling water. At the same time, think about all the other equipment you'll want to have sterile as well, like a whisk, tongs, and spoons. I'm also going to drop in the metal probe part of my digital food thermometer and turn the heat on so the water will boil and let this continue for at least five minutes. And then let everything cool on a clean rack or in my case, a plate. For the coconut milk, you want the kind that comes in cans, typically. Sometimes they come in boxes. But you'll look for a high fat content. This one has 15 grams per third cup. The ingredients should just be coconut, water, and maybe one other additive. I haven't found any that are just coconut in a long time. They all have something added like gargum or polysorbate 60, which are emulsifiers that help keep the water and oil content in coconut cream from splitting and the coconut cream stays smooth. When you open a can, if it's cold from the fridge, the cream will be pretty hard. This was room temperature, and while the cream is still at the top, it is very soft. I'm just going to dump the whole can in. Two cans in total today. After adding the coconut milk to the pot, I immediately added one capsule of probiotic powder. Changing the plan from making coconut yogurt to, well, a happy accident as you already know and whisk it in. At this point, you do not want to heat the milk over 100 or 110 degrees Fahrenheit or you'll kill all the good bugs in there. This is the probiotic I use, by the way. It's very reliable. I can get it at my local grocery store or online, and of course, I'll leave a link to it if you like. And you don't have to refrigerate this one. It has a bunch of gut-friendly bacteria that will ferment this coconut milk and make it tangy and delicious more delicious than it is already naturally. Then pop the lid on, you don't have to seal it, and press the yogurt setting and adjust the time to 24 hours. But also set a timer separately to check in on it at 12 hours, ideally, and 18 hours. It's the early morning. Time to check the yogurt. I actually slept through my 12 hour alarm, so 18 hours later, I had a little taste test. Sour, <laughs> but good sour. Mmm, it's just gonna be tasty, no matter the texture. It is 7.30 in the morning and dark though, so I just want to transfer this to a container so I can chill it and this is to slow the fermentation action way down while we wait for the light to come back. I don't want it to get too sour or over ferment and get bitter. When the light comes in at around 10.30, 11, the cream has solidified like butter. The whey, that's the liquid, is tangy and sour. It reminds me of a probiotic drink from my childhood. It had a red foil cap and it came in little small plastic milk bottle shaped bottles. You know the kind I mean? Let me know in the comments below if you do. Anyways, I'll strain it out on this mesh strainer with a clean cheesecloth and I'll just pour it all in. Gather up the cloth, twist it together, and I'll just use this one tail to tie it securely. I wouldn't mind getting this a little more sour, so I'm gonna leave it on the counter, room temperature, with a lid on to weigh it down slightly and also keep off any dust and let it strain for the rest of the day. 
In the evening, I put it in the fridge until the light came back the next day. And now we have a beautiful buttery mound of cultured coconut cream. It tastes tangy, but it also has a natural sweetness. I could eat it with a spoon, but that would be a missed opportunity. The opportunity to toast a little bread and spread it on thickly. Add some fruit if you like. And maybe a balsamic lace. I hope you try this wonderful, rich indulgence, and maybe it will replace store-bought vegan butter for you. At least in one toasty way. Let me know what other cultured, fermented things you'd like to see on this channel, and maybe I'll try to make it and get distracted and come up with something else again. Bye for now!